Hey guys, welcome to your bonus love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for the rest of your December. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Virgo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on my new YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to travel, the link for that is in the description box below. Do all the YouTube stuff, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and support me on there too, okay? So tell me about um, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo and love and the person that they are connecting with for the uh, rest of their December, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo, for Virgo, for Virgo. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands here, okay? Six of Wands. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. Mm. There is a situation where I feel like this person's definitely like operating in the ego here. This person could have lied to you, was deceptive towards you, traumatized you here. And I feel like this person's like feeling really good about themselves here. Yeah, the wheel, uh, you know, I feel like this person really let you down and you feel like you've definitely learned some big lessons from this situation here, okay? I do feel like this could have been the twin flame connection here. This connection was incredibly intense uh, and I feel like this person was very controlling. This person could have been very manipulative or something like that, especially emotionally manipulative. With the four of wands here, <coughs> we have the emperor, you know, I, it's so interesting because I feel like the situation that you're in, I feel like this per the person's parent or parents got involved here. Uh, I, I almost get the feeling that the, you were in a situation where I feel like you got bullied by your person here and by the people in around this person's life. The Seven of Swords, the Empress, wow. Libra Taurus, Nine of Wands. Two of Swords here. Yeah, hard left on this person here. You're t definitely completely over this person. Yeah, you're done with this person. You have nothing more to give to the situation here. You're not even accepting this person's apology at this point here. I mean, you could be in this energy of like, you know what? I don't need to talk to this person, but I'm going to forgive this person for my own sake and just move on. Let's see, what else do we have here for Virgo? The person that Virgo is dealing with. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Virgo? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Virgo for the rest of their December, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo, for Virgo. King of Swords and the Hangman, Piscean energy here. This person is definitely having a hard time letting you go. They're definitely also seeing, um, having a hard time seeing the position that you put, they put you in here. We have the Fool card in the Sun. It's almost like this person has a hard time acknowledging your pain. It's almost like they don't care. The Fool card, Aries energy, Aquarius energy, the Sun. It's all. It's always like you know. I feel like everything is fine. Everything is great. You know. Uh, you know. I feel like this person apologizes, but this person doesn't do anything to change things here. This person definitely creates a lot of fear here. I do feel like this situation that you're in, I do feel like this person's a karmic here. Yeah, the energy surrounding this relationship was very intense, very heavy here. And I feel like by you dropping out of this and like dropping this person and moving on, I feel like a lot of the heaviness 
the intensity has been released here, but I, I mean, obviously you're still hurt by this whole situation, but you know, I do feel like this was definitely some sort of karmic situation here. And I feel like you might be realizing that, you know, this person's not changing. You could have gone through some sort of huge spiritual awakening while you're with this person here. Justice, Sleeper, Energy, Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy, the Five of Wands and the Fool, the Sun card here, and then the Nine of Pentacles. Definitely a lot of conflict with this. I feel like you guys were fighting about the same thing over and over and over and over again. Yeah, and nothing really changed. This person just could not get it. Yeah, this person just could not understand, you know, the pain, the experience that you were going through with this person here. Just a lack of acknowledgement here with the Knight of Wands, Aries, Lil Sag, with the Eight of Swords. This person tends to change the subject. You know, this person tends to try and make things better here by having sexy time here with you. I just feel like this person has consistently betrayed you over and over and over and over and over again. Just, 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 just they just can't get things straight, get it right with you. Yeah. So I feel like you're definitely like, you know what? Situation's not going to change. I'm just going to change my situation myself. What else do we have for, for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Look out for work on here like when it comes to this love situation. For uh, the rest of the December, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. For Virgo. Nine of Swords and the Chariot. Yeah, I just feel like you just don't want to put yourself in a position of suffering here by staying here. Uh, chariot, Cancer Energy. So I feel like you're actively making a decision to move away from this. You're trusting your intuition. You're trying not to confuse yourself. You're trying not to make any sort of excuses here. You're trying not to overcomplicate it. It's sort of like what is, is what is. You know what I mean? What you've seen is what you've seen. You know, you can't unsee it. You can't debunk it, you know? So the Eight of Wands here and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely, wor like, I feel like you're definitely moving on from this and you're focusing on your pentacles here, you're focusing on your work. You're realizing that the situation that you're in was very, very, very toxic here, you know? I do feel like you might have been dealing with, like, a narcissistic person, and I feel like this person comes along with a full package, full package of narcissistic people here. And I really feel like this person bullied you and I feel like their family bullied, bullied you too. The chariot and the lovers here, Gemini energy. Yeah, this is definitely an unhealthy relationship and I feel like you're definitely recognizing that here. The high priestess and the fool card again, Aries energy, Aquarius energy, and the seven of cups here. Yeah, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're silently walking away from this person silently walking away from this person and they just feel like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep myself busy. I'm just gonna look after me, take care of me. I'm gonna heal here. I'm just gonna disengage from any sort of communication with this person here. Even if this person reaches out with a sweet note, you know, I'm just gonna toss it out or something like that. <coughs> Yeah, I just feel like you just don't have the fight left in you here. You know, I just feel like, it's almost like, I feel like you were sinking in quicksand with this person here. You know, I feel like this person was dragging you and I feel like you're trying to like get out and clean yourself at this time here. So I just feel like you're definitely done with this person. You know, I just feel like you're definitely remaining silent. Yeah, I just feel like you're silently walking away from this like horrible situation that you're in. I really feel like the, the family got in on the situation and kind of like, you know, triple teamed you, tag teamed you, quadruple teamed you here uh, and made you feel really uncomfortable and unsafe. So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.